Hey everyone, Nut Free Mama here. Today I'm going to show you how to make rainbow cake. Okay, let's start off with our ingredients. First, you're going to need one package of a white cake mix, any kind you like. And then I am just um, preparing it as per the back of the box. So mine is four egg whites, a half a cup of vegetable oil, and one and one-fourth cup of water. And then you're going to need some food coloring. So basically, you want purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. And then for the clouds, we're just going to use... Um, some cool whips, so just some whip topping, or if you'd like, you can make your own. It's up to you. And then, of course, you need some kind of um, bunch pan. This is my new pan I just got, so this is the first time I'm going to use it. And then some spray. I like this Baker's Joy because it just really um, makes stuff not stick. So I'm going to spray my pan generously and go ahead and preheat my oven to 325. Alright, so you can see my pan is completely saturated here, and now in a large bowl I have my cake mix, my water, my just egg whites, I only use the egg whites, and my vegetable oil. Okay, now we are going to just go ahead and um, mix this with an electric mixer per the back of our box, so I think it's like 30 seconds on low and then 2 minutes on medium. All right, my cake mix is all nice and combined. So I just went ahead and took out one and a third cup of my white and just put it evenly into the bottom of my bun pan and just spread that out as evenly as you can. And then I also reserved about two tablespoons and just kept it to the side because it's gonna go in the very last layer. So now you want to divide your layer in between these six bowls and we are gonna add the food coloring. All right, my colors are ready to go. So basically you do two tablespoons of purple, and then a fourth cup of blue, a third cup of green, a half cup of yellow, then you do two thirds cup orange, so I just mixed red and yellow to get orange, and then you want to just do the rest um, red. So of course you know you want the most red, so if you have to take from others before you mix them. I um, put all my white batter in first just to make sure that I had the most red before I mixed anything. So next we're going to put these into piping bags, starting with red. Okay, my red is piped on there, and you can just see I just left a little bit of space in between the edges. So you could still see the white. And now I'm going to do the same thing with the orange. And this time make sure you also leave the red visible. So we're just going to do that every color all the way up until purple is pretty much just one little line around. And then we'll um, finish it off with white. All right. This is what your finished product should look like before it gets into the oven. Kind of looks like a jumbled up mess of colors, but I think it's going to be really pretty. So that reserved white, you just pipe onto the purple only. The purple only for the last bit of white. So now we are just going to go ahead and put this into the oven for 40 to 45 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean when it's inserted. All right, my cake is out of the oven and I have let it cool here on this cooling rack. So now I am going to try to go ahead and flip it over. All right, that really came out of there really easy and onto my plate. So I am going to go ahead and cut into it and wait till Taste Tester comes home to have a little taste. All right, I cut into the cake and it is adorable. I can't wait till Taste Tester comes so he can have a little taste. All right, I cut a piece for Taste Tester and I just dolloped some whipped topping on the ends like clouds and we'll see what he thinks. Hey, taste tester. Hi. Have a little taste. Okay. There you go. Dang, everyone. That's good. Do you like it? Yeah. All right, everyone. Come back and see us again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.